Well, because of the program we have, uh, the stack genetics, um, we can provide the best genetics you can find anywhere uh, with generation after generation stacked on top of each other. Um, this year we've got a you know power tool, Canelian Focus, uh, Upshot, several of the top sires in the breed, so uh, large sire groups. So uh, we've got customers that come back year after year. This will be our 25th annual sale. Uh, there'll be people who've there have bought it all 25 sales. So um, and. Uh, There'll also be new people, that, and that's what makes it fun, is you get to see people that you've known for years, and you get to meet new people uh, every year. It's something I got interested in at a young age. I just was out of high school, and we had a registered Angus herd. That my dad started in about 1972, and, and uh, I had my first heifer was out of one of those cows, so I have had an interest since I was 10, 12 years old, so I uh, started that long ago. And then, like I said earlier, in 80, I started an AI program, which we've continued through this day, so. Well, we start, uh, we put the bulls out in a, in a pen. Of course, beforehand, we video all the bulls, so they don't run through the ring. We spend a day videoing all the bulls. This year may take a day and a half, because we're, we're going to be up substantially. We usually sell around 100. But we've grown our herd as and our quality, and we're going to offer about 150 bulls this year. So um, we'll bring them out of the lots that morning. We just drive them right across the yard here, just south of where we're sitting. Uh, we just turn them out of the pens and take them over to the other pens. And, and I've got about some neighbors and about three or four helpers. There's probably seven, eight of us total. Takes us about an hour, hour and a half to sort them into their pens. And, and even at that time, if we have a bull that acts a little upheaded or any problem at all, he goes back to the pen and he doesn't make the sale. So, the so sale. we call I'm right the up until sale time, basically. So he's probably all but about three or four years, maybe, since we started. So that, of course, starts and usually get that started in January. And then when the people get here, we have the gals at the table that are willing to take their name and if they have a catalog it has their name and address on it we like to double check on that um, we like to have an email if at all possible and they give them a number and then after they buy the animal with the girls get them out very quick um, they're pretty experienced at doing it now and the we have the computers we're happy that to we have use the now when we started we had a uh, papers the gals would get the addresses on all the top of the papers and then any time I would send back who bought what and they'd have to find that paper and put it all in and now it's all through the computer and then we also use DV auction that that's where Lynn talked about the video and we'll be doing of the bulls and they are there so people can bid online also Well, we use Angus. It's a no-brainer to me because the genetics are readily available. They've got we we can identify the top genetics in them because they're they're a little more advanced than some of the other breeds. But I mean, we do have balancers too, and there's nothing wrong with the Gelvy breed at all. But uh, we've come to find out if we keep the percentage on the Gelvies down around a quarter to a half and keep the Angus influence in there on that on those cattle that we have a better cow and we also have a better feeder feeder calf so and then the straight Angus uh, with the stacking of any more you can uh, you can produce cattle that are just a very balanced because and you can add docility to it now which is a big thing I get asked about a lot by producers is docility uh, EPDs and how calm they are so we've really worked at stacking that and I think if you look at our some of our cattle we put on the video uh, the heifers or the like bulls you'll see that they're all to very start calm off with and, and easy um, to handle, so. from there we go through and, and we're just in the alleyway and what looks good we think okay we're just gonna send them on the other ones go in the steer pen then the next day we go out there and 
well, we missed that one, or no, I think maybe we need to stick with uh, more of the AI sires. Or, but, I mean, we've got a lot of really good um, pasture bulls too, but the structure, you watch them walk better, because when we're doing the sorting, you know, we just got them in a group, small group, and um, so it's not easy to always see. But then when you get them out in the pen, then you can see the structure of them, how they walk, um, temperament more so. Um, we can catch a lot of them with temperament, but we, we've been really fortunate. We just don't have, I think in our sort that we did out of all of them, there was maybe two out of 230 bulls that were called because, right then because of temperament. And um, so there's various things that we do throughout the um, time. I'll go out on the horse and ride through them, you know. And if you got something that just head up or I see something that just doesn't look like it fits the bill, then we end up calling it. So it's, it's a never-ending process. A very family-oriented place. I mean, I know it's just Lynn and I, but our nephew now is back with us, Bryce Kropka. It's his, Lynn's sister's oldest boy. And, uh, of course, my sister-in-law helps at the check-in table, and uh, Lori. And then, of course, I have my brother, <laughs> Ken Rogers. So, it's, I don't know, I just see it as a very family-oriented, and we work together together. I think it's a great place. I don't think I could have gotten into married a better guy. Well, it's we've come a long way, that's for sure. <laughs> I think we had 14 animals in our first production sale, along with two other fellows we had a sale with, and and it was a great thing to get together with those two guys. They're still good friends of ours. So, but uh, you know, we evolved. From there from 14 head to probably 140 or 50 head this year so uh, it's uh, and the cattle have come a long way since then I think back to some of the bulls we s sold back then 25 years ago and they honestly probably wouldn't be good steers in our pen out here right now so there's just so much difference in the cattle and the, and the changes we've made especially probably the last 10 years we've come a long way because of the the selection process